I can explain as to why I'm wearing what I'm wearing and as to why I'm riding this horse. I wanted to get back into racing and I got his outfit, the sack is the best for the horse, and then there's something about it, the Yorvik ponies, look at the jump, you know what I mean? And the jump is also such a quick animation that it's just very good for racing. They do like freaking pigs, but they're still nice. Hey guys, good morning. So I got woken up by the military tanks today, passing through my neighborhood. That was one way to get awakened, I guess. See that? Look. These are like smaller cars, not tanks, but they're military anyway. Look at them. Just coming one by one. The car alarms went off because they were way too loud. Uh, there were police cars and ambulances. I don't know what's going on. What I do know is that I'm at the border with Ukraine because I live in Romania and what I do know is that there's a military base in my city yeah things are just a bit creepy I'm also kind of sad that we got used to the idea that there's a war happening and we kind of just moved on with our lives and yeah we do have to keep moving you know what I mean like you can't just be crippled and annihilated and not do anything anymore um, but it's just like my heart feels for the Ukrainians who are still living in this nightmare. Alright guys, so you know what? I want to start something different on my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a let's train and talk video, but also we're gonna buy new horses. It's just gonna be like you and I hanging out, you know what I mean? Like no more, th the structure is like too rigid when it comes to let's train and talk videos. Like I can only talk and train, but what if I want to buy a horse while talking to you? Do you know what I mean? We're gonna do that. So the reason I was on my discussing Yorvik Pony was because I kind of want to get back into racing. And the best horses for racing right now from what I've heard, are the old generation 1.5. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I mean, it looks like... LOL, my mom just came in and I was like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm not being disrespectful, she understands my humor, unlike most of the stinkers. So the fastest horses as of right now are the generation 1.5 Fjord horses, which we cannot buy anymore. I don't even have one. Kind of regret not getting one. It was so dumb of me to not get one, knowing that they're gonna be gone. And then the Morgan horses and the Yorvik ponies. So I wanna buy a Morgan today. I remember having this Morgan on my first account that got banned. The mane is so gross, the texture. Why is there only two of them here? I don't like any of these two. Where's the other ones, dude? Also, why do they discount the curly horses? Like, who would want to buy these horses anyway? Real talk, the curly horses texture and fur texture reminds me of pubic hair. All right, rodents, here we are. Wow, paint horses now are really cheap. So if they're gonna go away, which I'm pretty sure they are gonna go away pretty soon, I'm gonna buy all of them. They're still 790, are you for real, bro? You know it would be really upsetting for me to get one and then have them be fixed, just like the rest of the horses, just like the Pintavians. So you would just buy them and then instantly just... I want to see the jump of them, but I can't. Anyway, this would mean that I would have to train. I would have to train them. They have such big eyes. Generation 2 horses have such just weird eyes. They all have this weird style going on. How many star brains do I have? Do I want to buy this rat? You know what, let's do it. Let's just do it, dude. I'm just gonna name it the most dumb thing ever, just Fast Racer. I'll just do that. Part of me is like not allowing me to buy this horse just because it's it's just too much money for this broken horse. But kind of want to get back into racing. Bro, the breeds are like garbage and the tail too. But do I want to buy it though? Do you know what? Let's just do it. I did it boys. Who would have thought? Like literally, who would have thought I would buy this disgusting rodent? I like the coat of it. Wait. Why am I writing it now? Pretty sure not what I clicked, but anyway. Let's go to the animations. Do you see how it's like bugging just when you like start, when you press forward? When you just walk? It goes a bit underground and then like gets back to the ground. That's just so weird. Anyway, this is the walk. Have they broken the animations? Are they any different? So far everything is the same as it used to be back in the days. I can see how it's like really fast though. Like I, it's level one and it's pretty fast. Is that a short animation though for the jump? It doesn't feel that short to me. Well, maybe because it's level one, but it's a really high jump too. It's such a wobbly horse, bro. It's so funny. This one is a nice horse. I like the mapping of it. And then this one is just hideous. Anyway, all right, let's go back to our home's table. Bro, spider pets? Spider pets. Why would you... Who buys these things? Who buys spider pets? I'm actually like, curious. Why can't we look like this in the game? Why can't I look like Gary Goltis? Star Spells put more effort into the NPCs than they have into our own characters. 
Like, look at the amount of detail John has, for example, and then our characters that we're getting are just so... just weird. I don't like any of the new face shapes we're getting. So we're gonna be training Big Brother today. It's a really nice horse. I woke up at 12 today, almost 12 p.m., which is, like, embarrassing, but I've had a really busy weekend. I've been um, translating for this group of Americans that came to Romania um, at a business conference. I had to translate for them, and... On Friday, I was from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. with them, translating. And then I went to the gym at like 9 p.m., got back home at 12 a.m. Because I also went and I ate out after that. So, I... And then I went to bed at 2 a.m. because I had to edit a video for the conference, which was never used anyway because there was a miscommunication between the members and the team members and they didn't like what I've done, the video that I made, so like it wasn't what I wanted, so I felt great about that dude, it was frustrating. And then on the second day again, um, I had to translate at this conference, it was live, like the speaker would speak and I had no time for breathing literally, like I just didn't have time to breathe in and breathe out dude, like I had to just keep going and going and going and translating. People think it's easy, but it's not, like it's, it got to a point where I started feeling physically sick because I only slept for like 5 hours at night because again I was up till 2am to edit a video that was never used and then Tony did a little rodent, my dog woke me up at 4am because he wanted to go out, so that was a mess. And so, I, I've had some really busy days lately, but I'm happy I get to hang out with these Americans and show them around. I always feel like somewhat responsible for when Americans come to my city to like show them around because like no one takes them out of their hotel rooms and it's just like bro you've come here all the way from the US like I want you to see something I want you to see like what's going on around you know what I mean so I'll take you out and we'll just hang out well I'll just show you around and just do things together and I made a new friend and he's also from the same US state that I visited when I was in the US which is pretty cool I really love hanging out with Americans I really do. And I feel honored that I can show them around, take them out, talk to them. I can connect with Americans in a way that I cannot connect with Romanians. And people think I'm like such a stuck up rodent and so like arrogant and condescending and whatever because I sometimes speak English with them, like to them, to Romanians, because it's the way my brain works. Like sometimes I cannot put my thoughts into words in Romanian and I have to use English. And there's also a lot of slangs from the English vocabulary which you cannot translate to Romanian, so I have to use them, the English slangs. And um, yeah, I feel like I'm so split in a sense. Like I can connect with Americans so well, but I can also connect with Romanians. Like a side of me can connect to Romanians that I cannot connect with Americans and vice versa. And it's like, bro, why am I like this? Because I don't feel comfortable being here, but I know that I wouldn't be feeling fully comfortable being in the US too, because that other side of me, which can only connect with Romanians, would be, you know, repressed. So yeah, it is what it is, I guess. My brain is just malfunctioning, I'm telling you. Like, I think in English, I write in English, I read in English, and I'm Romanian, bro. Like, that's... Romanian is my first language, and I use English more than I use Romanian. Whatever. We're all a bit sick in the head, do you know what I mean? So if you watch my last training video, then you know that I haven't been feeling very well lately, but if you want to go watch a video first, you can do that. Um, go to the 10 minute mark and you can see what, what happened. But I just want to say that I'm really grateful and thankful for your support, guys. I was overwhelmed in a positive way by your feedback. You guys are just so kind and loving, and I really appreciate you for that. And I just want to say that I've been so much better. I've been feeling so much better. I feel so free. I feel so happy. Like, I haven't felt this free and happy in like probably almost two years. I'm so happy, you guys. There's still stuff that are like stressing me out, but they're not related to what I said in my last video at all. They're just completely different things. Um, so I don't have it all figured out, but I'm just still so much better. So much better, and I'm so happy about that. I think we're getting the Tennessee Walking Horses um, somewhere in December. People said January, but I don't think so, because if you think of how Star Stable did it in the past, they released the Frisian Horses, the Jorvik Fuglies, during the Winter Village in the month of December. So I think they're gonna do the same again. Plus, why would they be already done? Like the, you know, the animations, the coats, everything so early. Like I think they're gonna be released in December, not January. And the Belgian Wormblads are coming in two days. I'm really pumped about those. Well, I don't like the animations really, but I just still want to like, you know, I still want to ride one. I still want to see what they're all about. Sometimes they feel different in the game than they do in spoiler videos. I know that happened with the Walsh Ponies. I'm pretty sure with me. Um, even though when they came out, I was not home. I was in the U.S., so I could not record a video buying them. 
um, but that's fine. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of them anyway, just because I'm not a fan of ponies in general. I really like thoroughbreds and wormbloods. That's the kind of person that I am. I'm pretty sad about the fact that I don't think I'll be able to make it to Briarfest this year. I think I'll be there for Briarfest 2024. I'm pretty sure, but we shall see. You know what I was thinking about earlier today? People call me problematic, like some people do, and I'm like, it's so sad that. When someone is honest and true to themselves and to their viewers, they're automatically labeled as problematic. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, people that are like myself, we express our opinions not to cause or entice anyone, not to start drama, but we just say what we think. And that alone will just stir up things. But if that's what it takes, if that's what I need to pay to be authentic and to remain true to myself, then that's what I'm gonna be doing. I was just thinking, like, how am I being problematic by just expressing my opinions? Like, the reason I become problematic is because of you because of you who are getting offended because you're too weak to understand that just because i think something that doesn't mean that you should think the same or that doesn't mean that if i think differently than you do that doesn't mean i hold the absolute truth or that my opinion is the opinion like the one you know what i mean like the reason youtubers some of them because some people out there yeah they really do throw themselves out there and cause problems whatever but in my case, like the reason I've become quote unquote problematic is because I'm just being honest and transparent. And that's just so sad. Like we live in a society where you have to be fake, not be true to yourself or to others, lie to yourself, lie to the ones around you. So that way you would like maintain peace. Do you know what I mean? Isn't that just so stupid? Like why can't we just accept the fact that we have different opinions and you can have a different opinion regarding my opinion. Like you, have, you can have an opinion of my opinion and there's nothing wrong with that. Because some people are saying that I'm being a hypocrite because I have opinions. When I don't agree with someone's opinion, I, I talk about it. Like, there's nothing wrong with in disagreeing with someone's opinion. Do you know what I mean? That doesn't invalidate your opinion. Like, I have an opinion of your opinion, which is valid. You can have an opinion of my opinion. Like, for example, I dislike the animations of the Shire Horses. You can have an opinion of my opinion and be like, Okay, Dennis's opinion doesn't align with my opinion. And I think differently. I think the opposite from what he does. That doesn't mean you're invalidating my opinion. The same way goes for you, like just because I don't agree with your opinion, it doesn't mean your opinion is invalid. It just means that we think differently. Why is it so hard to understand that? There's been a rise of new horse games coming out this year, and I'm really happy to see that. They also look way better than they used to. And even though when I played Horse Tales Emerald Valley Ranch, I said that I'm happy Star Stable finally has competition. If I think deeper about that, you know, I don't feel like Horse Tales is a threat to Star Stable really because Star Stable has been here for so long and they're just clearly just way ahead of them. And all the other new horse games that are coming out, um, the Schleich horse game and you know there's multiple ones coming out or that have come out already, they just can't really be compared with Star Stable because Star Stable is like an online game and all of these new horse games coming out they're mainly offline so online games are always going to be better and that's just you know, how it is. But I'm still happy that there's multiple new horse games coming out and that they're getting better and better because I know that with time, they're just gonna get better and better and better. So that's really cool. What is on your face, dude? What is his name? Anz Anzalina? I've never seen this name before in Star Stable. That's pretty cool. Have they added like new, new names for people to have? The weather is very gloomy here. It's getting really cold. It's getting dark very early. And the seasonal depression, bro. I don't want it to come back. Do you know what I mean? I feel like every every winter I go through that and I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself for it just because I can be more in control of it if I'm you know getting ready for that to happen at least mentally you know I'm, I'm I can just like keep myself in check I guess it does help a lot and if you do struggle with seasonal depression just get ready for it you know what I mean just prepare yourself mentally it's gonna be it's gonna help get out of it way faster and if you didn't know what seasonal depression is it's basically when you know it gets really cold it's usually during winter time um now if you're from australia where it's summer for you now then it doesn't really apply to you but you know when it gets really cold out and really gloomy and all of that um that can really affect you mentally and lead to what is called seasonal depression i'm trying to get myself prepared for that because like it's 3 28 p.m right now and it's really dark out. It's not like pitch black, but because it's very cloudy and because in literally an hour at 4.30 p.m. it's gonna be dark out. It looks very sad. 
I also woke up at 12 today, so that's like three hours and a half ago. And it's already dark out, you know what I mean? Like, that's just depressing, dude. I've always found that nature has a very, has a great impact on my mental well-being. And I know I'm not alone in this, most people are affected by nature because it's just how we're created, you know what I mean? I don't know what some practical steps would be to not be affected by seasonal depression. I think have a purpose, have something to do, have a goal, work towards something, have a project going on that will keep you occupied and motivated. I think that's, at least for me, that, that's what really works. If I have nothing to do, then I get like really emo. So like I always need to work towards something, build something. And I also know that because I'm a guy, I find a lot of satisfaction in building things whether that's building my body at the gym or building a project or a business. I think that's that's very common for men. They always have to build something, like even Lego. You know what I mean? Like men love to build Lego because they they work on towards something. They build something from scratch. And that's really rewarding for us. Going to the gym is really rewarding for me. I used to struggle with anorexia and in just one year and a half my body has changed. I would say that I'm still not like where I'm supposed to be, obviously, but I've made great progress and I'm really proud of myself for that. And that really keeps me going too, going to the gym. Like if I feel emo or something, just go to the gym, bro. Changes everything, helps a lot. I love being at the gym. It's like my alone time where I can just listen to my music, be introspective, think about what I have to do next. It's a really, it's a really nice time. It's my alone time. And that's part of the reason why I don't want to have a gym buddy, a gym partner, because even though it'd be helpful, it's my alone time, bro. But having a gym buddy would be pretty cool, though. I went with this friend that came from the US this week um, to the gym. We went together and, you know, I was doing bench press, working my chest. And if it wasn't for him, I would have crushed my nose, literally, because I was like my final rep and I couldn't lift the bar anymore. So I literally, because my arms were so tired, I almost dropped the, the bar on my nose, on my face. So if it wasn't for him to pick it up for me and help me, then I would have been mutilated, you know what I mean? So having a gym body would definitely help, but I just, it's my alone time, bro, like, leave me alone. Why are these people waiting for the champ if it's 27 minutes away? Also, aren't Pentabians fixed? Like, why would you ride these crusty old disgusting horses if they don't even, like, benefit you with anything? I, I deeply dislike, I really, really dislike the Pentabians, they look so ugly. They look like spiders, literally. But the new Arabians, though, the Generation 3 Arabians, are stunning. I really like them. Also, I don't like the way the shifting update has affected the Shire Horses. If you look at the way that they turn, it's just very mechanical. And like, look at the back legs, the way they're sliding. Like The hooves are just sliding in such a weird way. Look at the back legs. I'm having a hard time showing you on this terrain here. Wait, let me find some flat surface. But yeah, the way that the back legs move, it's so fake. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it looks off. It's not that deep, like it doesn't bother me as much, but the Shires look way better when this update wasn't in the game. The Generation 3 shifting thing, movement update. The unnecessary one that no one asked for. What am I doing, dude? What am I doing? You know what I was thinking about earlier today? My friend from the US sent me a picture. I'll just put it up on the screen, it's just too funny. Wedding centerpieces, everyone. And then Dennis's. Is... And it's true, bro. Like, I want my wedding to be, like, equine themed. And I'm not gonna give up, like, on my standards. I need to find myself a horse loving woman. And I'm not gonna give up on that standard. Even though they're really hard to find here in Romania, I'm just not gonna give up on that. Or maybe, just maybe, I can move out to a different country and find one. But if she's not okay with me collecting horses and liking horses, then I don't want her. Simple as that. Now, I do have to admit that if we're both crazy horse people, and if we both collect briar horses, then we might be in great danger regarding money, you know what I mean? We might just be in debt. Alright gamers, well, I'll just wrap it up for today. If you want to see more videos from me, then please subscribe, ring the bell, like this video, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Dennis Wisestorm. Alright gamers, have a good one.